Today we're going to talk about the flow coefficient. The measurement commonly applied to valves is the valve coefficient or CV. Sometimes it's referred to as a flow coefficient and this is a coefficient that's used to determine the valve size that will best allow the valve to pass a required flow rate while providing control of the process fluid. Most people who have sized and selected valves will be familiar with this measurement, but not everybody understands where it comes from, and I think deriving it is helpful in giving the selector or sizer of the valve an understanding of why we're using this coefficient to compare various valves. The formula is often seen, but not always understood. CV is equal to the flow rate times the square root of the specific gravity of the fluid over the pressure drop. Let's dive into the formula so as to better understand the coefficient. The first thing we have to talk about is that regardless of the application, the control valve has one job. So whether you have a temperature control valve, a pressure control valve, a level control valve, or a flow control valve, the function mechanically that the valve provides is always to control the flow. So you're controlling the flow to control temperature you're controlling the flow through the valve to control pressure or level, or obviously flow. A simplified definition that I like to use for CV is that it's a tool used to compare the flow capacity of any valve of any design anywhere in the world, so that you can bring your comparison down to apples to apples. To illustrate this, let's look at two identical valves. These are the same size, the same trim size, the same materials of construction, etc. Both are fully open, and we observe the following. Valve A has a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute, and valve B is flowing 20 gallons per minute. So if you ask the question which valve has a higher flow capacity, typically folks will say, well, valve B has a higher flow capacity because it's flowing 20 gallons per minute. But the real answer to this question is that we don't know. Here's valve A flowing 10 gallons per minute and valve B flowing 20 gallons per minute. We take a closer look and we come to find that valve A has a 1 psi pressure drop across it and valve B has a 15 psi pressure drop across it. So the first concept to understand here, and if you think about it, it becomes rather obvious, is the higher the pressure drop across the valve, the higher the flow. So that would at least in part explain why valve B is flowing 20 gallons per minute versus valve A flowing 10 gallons per minute. So what does the CV formula do? First off, it holds the pressure drop at a constant of 1 psi, so that we can better compare the two valves. Holding this pressure drop constant at 1 psi, valve A still flows at 10 gallons per minute, but valve B drops to 2 gallons per minute. So there must be some other variable at play here. We take a closer look and we come to find that valve A is flowing water and valve B is flowing honey. So the composition of the fluid flowing through the valve also has a lot to do with flow rate. Honey is much more viscous, it's denser than water, therefore, it will flow more slowly through the same opening than water will. So we have valve A and valve B again. And in this case, we're going to hold water as a constant. So we're going to make sure that both valves are flowing water at one PSI differential pressure. Take another measurement. There's your 10 gallons per minute in valve A and we see valve B is now at 12 gallons per minute. Still different. So there must be another variable that we have to consider. We take a closer look, and we find that the temperature of the water flowing through valve A is at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and the temperature of the water flowing through valve B is at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So temperature also has an impact on flow. In this case, the higher the temperature of the water, the higher the flow rate. So we choose a temperature to hold constant. And in all cases where CB is being measured, we select 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason for selecting this is that the specific gravity of water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is one. And that makes the math much easier. 
So in this example then, we hold constant that one PSI pressure drop, the fact that the fluid is water. And now we're ensuring that the water is at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We take a measurement. We find that valve A is continuing to flow at 10 gallons per minute. And valve B now matches that flow rate at 10 gallons per minute, which is the way it should be. These are two identical valves of identical construction and identical trim size. They should be flowing at identical flow rates given these constants. So we've arrived at identical flow rates. In this example, both valve A and valve B share a rated CV of 10, ensuring identical performance under the exact same conditions. So, in conclusion, CV is the number of US gallons, remember gallons per minute, of water that can flow through a valve with a 1 psi pressure drop at 60 degrees Fahrenheit for one minute. This key metric helps ensure proper valve selection and system performance. For more information or to get in touch with our experts, visit trimtech.com. We're here to help you find the right solution for your needs. Thanks for watching.